This tutorial animation covers how a PN junction semiconductor works, what is forward bias and reverse bias, what is diffusion current and drift current, and what is avalanche breakdown. What is PN junction semiconductor and how is it formed? It is a combination of P type semiconductor with N type semiconductor to achieve the practical utility of both. It's formed when a P type semiconductor is joined to a N type semiconductor. Now with the help of this animation, let's see how the P type semiconductor and N type semiconductors work. So the P type semiconductor has holes which are positively charged and the N type semiconductors have electrons which are negatively charged. So you can see free holes which are positively charged are available in the P type and free electrons which are negatively charged are available in the N type. So this is the region where the P type and the N type joins or the junction which is formed which is called as the PN junction. So this is the PN junction. What happens when a PN junction is made? Electrons near the junction jump from N type semiconductor towards the P type semiconductor and holes near the junction jump from the P type semiconductor towards the N type semiconductor. This phenomena creates a space charge region at the junction. So this is the space charge region which is created at the junction. Electrons are available in the P region at this space charge region and holes are available in the N region at this space charge region. An electric field is also created in this space charge region because of the movement of these holes and the electrons and the direction of the electric field is from the N type region towards the P type region. Some electrons move back from P to the N in this space charge region and some holes move back from N to the P in this space charge region so it moves back also and this continues to happen till an equilibrium is reached at this region this movement of electrons and holes in the space charge region gives rise to a current and this current is called as diffusion current now let's see forward bias in forward biasing positive terminal of the battery is connected towards the p region of the pn junction and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the N region of this PN junction semiconductor. And you can see the positive terminal repels the holes in the P region and the negative terminal repels the electrons towards the junction in the N region. So a pressure is acting towards the junction and this result in the junction to shrink. You can see the junction is shrinking there due to this repulsion the depletion region or the space charge region narrows down as you can see in the animation if the voltage in the forward bias is above a specified range these electrons in the n region drifts through the junction and migrates to the p region and the holes in the p region drifts through the junction and migrates towards the n region as like this you can see the electrons are drifting through the junction towards the P region and the holes are drifting through the junction towards the N region. Now the current starts to flow across the circuit and this current is called as the drift current. Now let's see reverse bias. For reverse bias to achieve in PN junction semiconductor the negative terminal of the battery will be connected towards the P type semiconductor and the positive terminal of the battery will be connected towards the N type semiconductor. So holes get attracted to the negative terminal of the battery. You can see the animation over there and the electrons get attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery as per the animation over there. So this result in the increase of the depletion region, the depletion layer or the space charge region. Because you can see the repulsion of the electrons and the holes is happening against the space charge or the depletion layer. So what happens is that this result in the increase of the depletion layer as see in the animation. That's the depletion layer over there. Now the PN junction act as an insulator 
and will not allow any current to flow in this circuit so this junction or this depletion layer now will be acting as an insulator and will not allow the flow of the electrons or holes in that region but in a particular condition if the battery voltage is above a particular limit what happens is that this particular limit is called as reverse bias breakdown voltage so if the battery achieves this reverse bias breakdown voltage what happens is that electrons and the holes break down through the pn junction and crosses this junction resulting in the current to flow through the circuit so you can see the electrons which are negatively charged crosses this junction that is breaks through this junction and moves towards the p region and the holes which are positively charged breaks through this junction and moves towards the n region resulting in the flow of a current this breakdown is called as avalanche breakdown in this process the current flowing through the pn junction is very high and ultimately the pn junction gets damaged due to the overheating caused by this excess flow of current this is how a pn junction semiconductor actually works so i believe you understand all the topics covered in this tutorial Please click the subscribe button for getting more tutorial video updates. You can also visit our website techfreaksinfo.com or our YouTube channel youtube.com oblique techfreaksinfo for more tutorial video contents. Please like, comment, share to motivate our team because we need your support to keep going. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.